So this is the L21 projector. Here's the box. You can use it to store everything inside. You'll find the projector, a power cord, an HDMI cable, and an AVI cable, plus instructions to get you started. It's really easy to use. It works very well, uh, especially for the price. You know, under $100, it's pretty hard to find a pretty high quality projector, and this one definitely is. Uh, inside we have settings. Uh, we can change the picture mode to adjust our contrast, brightness, color, sharpness, and tint. Uh, cinema is the default, and that's what I generally use. Uh, we can also adjust uh, other color temperatures. The aspect ratio can be varied between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3. Generally stick with 16 by 9. Do some noise reduction. Again, I really don't know what this is for, if that's for the audio or if that's for the video quality. I'm just really don't, not sure. Um, it can adjust the orientation of the projection. So here we have a front on a desk, but if you were mounting it on a ceiling, you could invert the image so that it's upside down. Um, and then if you were projecting onto the rear, a rear projection screen, you have those two options for both a, a desk mount and a top mount as well. We're gonna leave it here on the desk mount. Uh, that's how most people will probably end up using it. Uh, Additionally, uh, we can go over to our sound and adjust our sound balance, our sound volume. The volume on this is fantastic. It's really, really loud for the size of the unit. Really unexpected quality there. You can change the language uh, to a variety of different languages, and that's just for the setting screens and the languages that are there. If you ever mess something up, you can just restore the defaults, and it goes back to what came from the factory. Uh, we can update the software if needed. Um, it has a blue screen, we leave that on, and that's when you're changing between different sources, it'll show you this blue screen. So if we look at a computer using an RCA cord, uh, you can see that PowerPoint display is great, the images are very sharp and clear, clear and as is the text. So you can really use this for demonstration and, and presentations. Uh, we can switch to different devices by going to this menu. Here we're going to select HDMI and you'll see the blue screen pop up right there and then we'll turn the computer on and there we have the computer screen. Whatever shown on the computer screen will be displayed here just as you would expect. Um, you can show videos, they work out very nicely. Uh, other things we can do is you can use a USB drive or a SD card up to 32 gigs, 64 gigs don't work. Uh, you open up a folder, and if it has pictures in it, it'll automatically do a slideshow, and it automatically puts together transitions for you, which is a kind of a nice feature if you wanted to do, say, a slideshow like in the backyard for a party or something like that. Uh, you can also play videos directly from SD cards, the uh, uh, USB drives, or from your computer. Uh, you have control of the video when it's playback, so you can increase the speed, you can forward, fast forward, you can uh, rewind, you can pause, you can skip to another video if you want to go to a different one. Here we're just fast forwarding because I want to just show you how crisp and clear these images are. It's really incredible how bright and vivid the screen is. Anytime you kind of see it adjusting like a little bit, that's my phone. That's not the screen itself. The screen stays constant the entire time. So don't let that, that confuse you. Alternatively, if you wanted to show, say, a YouTube video, uh, those play really, really well too. So here's one of my older videos here, just uh, showing you again uh, the quality of the image that comes from this. Uh, animations work fantastic. Uh, the colors are vivid. They look great. This is all in all a great projector, definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video and it helps you to make your decision.